if you've ever purchased pure vanilla from the grocery store, you know how expensive it is. Well, if you make it yourself, it's roughly the same, but you're going to get much, much more. So today, I'm going to show you how. We have vodka and vanilla beans. <laughs> Pretty simple, like this is simple. This is 80 proof. And then my vanilla, my vanilla beans I ordered off of Amazon. They have been the cheapest place that I can find them and they're also good, good quality. So I'm gonna open it. And then these are also, this is a Tahitian vanilla bean. I will link it below on where to buy it. Your own vanilla extract. If I can open the same thing. Um, like I said, it's gonna last you like the rest of your life. You just have to add more vodka. That's all you gotta do. Get that all out. All we're going to do now is we're going to take our paring knife and simply split open the vanilla bean pot. Okay, just like that. And then we take our vanilla beans, drop them in a mason jar. And so I'm just gonna keep on doing that. All the vanilla beans in there you don't we don't need to scrape anything out but just so I can sh just to show you of what is in there but we want to make sure all of that ends up into our jars vanilla beans in there there are 10 of them also you don't always have to use vodka you could use rum for instance or another type of liquor so we got vodka and as simple as this pouring it in there Lastly, you just want to make sure that your vanilla beans are completely submerged. So that fills it up perfectly once they're, you know, swished around. Make sure you get all the vanilla beans in there because that's the good stuff. And then we're just going to put on our lid. Close it tightly. We're just gonna give it a little shake. And now we've just gotta let it sit. You can use it after about eight weeks, but it might be best to wait six months to get the best flavor. So once a week, I'm going to just simply give it a little shake and I'm going to keep it out of direct sunlight and in a cool place if you can. It doesn't have to be a cool place, it can just be your room temperature, somewhere in your kitchen, maybe your spice cabinet, wherever you've got space. For me, I'm going to be able to put it down in our root cellar. I am so excited to finally make my own vanilla extract and cannot wait to bake with this. This would also make a really, really nice gift. I actually made this for Christmas gifts this past Christmas for my mother and Hunter's mother as well. Like who wouldn't want to get some vanilla extract? 
and also as this ages and progresses it will get darker and darker and darker and then you'll start to see all the vanilla beans coming out so that's will be the little specks that are in there I've got now a lifetime of vanilla extract as I use this up and you know it gets lower and lower I just have to go buy more vodka pour it in there get it shaked up shaked up mixed up and then I have more as long as your vanilla pods don't dry up you've got vanilla extract like forever <laughs> basically so if you like this or you got any other comments or questions leave them down below hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already if you have made your own vanilla extract i would love to know how it is how it tastes compared to store-bought so thanks for watching